Hey folks, I'm Robert, W5ITR, and welcome to another edition of Digital Rancher. Hey, this year, Hamcation was a blast. Whether you're talking the Ham Fest itself, the camping, the late night campsite rag chews, however you slice it, Hamcation was fantastic. And Meshtastic was really in the middle of it all. You know, I was really fortunate this year to get connected with some of the Hamcation team who was just as interested as I was in making Meshtastic a successful part of the event. I want to give a shout out to Jeremy, KQ4AFY, to Joe, KQ4AID, Rick, KN4GJV, and the rest of the team who were involved in helping to get a Spec 5 relay installed at the top of the special event station tower. I also want to say thank you to Spec 5 for providing that device for the entire event. It worked out great. Now, when I say Meshtastic was right in the middle of it all, let me be clear. The Meshtastic folks themselves were not at the event. But there were lots of people running Meshtastic firmware on their devices. There were a few vendors who were also selling devices pre-flashed with Meshtastic. And there was at least one forum that highlighted Meshtastic as a form of off-grid communications. Oftentimes, we will conflate the firmware and the device. Meshtastic is not the device and vice versa. Just to amplify that point, I ran into several people who were running alternative mesh networking firmware on their devices, but that's a discussion for another day. In this video, I'm gonna give you a little peek behind the scenes at getting that Spec5 relay up on that portable tower. I'm also going to talk a little bit about the coverage we had on the campus due to a couple of elevated nodes. And I'll also share some of the fun that we had with these little radios. And if you're wondering who the we is that I speak of, I collected pics of everyone I ran into with a node. So make sure you stick around to the end so you can see some of the folks who were part of the Meshtastic party this year at Hamcation 2025. Let's get started. Some of you know that Frank of Tank Radio is my Hamfest traveling cohort. Even though we travel together, we rarely get a chance to sit next to one another on the plane. But as you can see here, with Meshtastic, we're able to start the fun early. All right, enough of the nonsense. Let's check out the Spec 5 relay deployment. All right, we got Thursday morning here at uh, Hamcation, and we've got Jeremy and the crew here putting up a Meshtastic Spec 5 relay device. So let's see what they're doing. Oh, not one I probably have one in my mic. This is the portable mast or the portable tower. One, two, three, four, five. What is this, a 60 foot tower? I'm sorry? 100 foot tower. 100 foot tower. Oh, this is going to be great to get it, that it's thing. It's going up to 100 feet. Okay. <laughs> I put it at 100 feet. I have to guy wire them out. Oh. I don't love you all that much. So what are we doing? 50 feet? Probably about 50 feet. All right. 50 feet is still pretty doggone good uh, to get coverage here on the fairgrounds. We think we got it figured out? Yeah. Just making sure batteries connected and figure out which side's, which way's facing south. Gotcha. I think we're alive. Sure, looks like we got power. We, uh, yeah, that's the yeah. well. We're, yeah. we're well. We're getting we're power off the solar. Off the yeah. Uh, so we need to. Which one is this? Is we may have to make some. Uh, and I think it has two eighteen six fifties in it. Yep, it's got two, yeah, and that's what we're connecting up right now. So now we're on battery. It's constantly running off the solar, but now we've got the battery that'll keep it up through the night. Well, it's kind of wild, Sam. It's a lot 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 of wild, Sam. All right, here we go. The tower is going up. 
We've got a three element Mosley on here for the special event station. And we've got the Spec 5 Relay to cover the fairgrounds in Mesh-tastic. This is the Armstrong version, hand crank. All right, here we got another angle. This is before they're starting to extend it, getting it leveled up. Make sure it's plumb. I love how that's just an old school four foot level. Throw it up against the tower and make sure it's good to go. All right, firing up the generator. Gonna get that winch going. Let's get some elevation on these antennas. Here we go. The relay is designed for a permanent installation. It's got an eight DBI fiberglass antenna and a 12 watt solar panel that provides power and charging to the two 18650 batteries. In addition to the Spec 5 relay device that we had for the event, the Hamcation team also had a couple of devices and these were configured with the same settings as the relay. The Hamcation devices were homebrew devices, each with a 10,000 milliamp hour flat pack battery, a rack 19007 baseboard, and a rack 4631 core module. They also sported four DBI antennas. All right, so I've been uh, out here in some of the lesser traveled areas of Hamcation looking for more of the Meshtastic infrastructure that is lighting the campus up here. And I found one, found another node. And here you go, we got a comms trailer behind the security uh, facilities here. And if we look up on top of this trailer here, where we got a nice big two meter, 70 centimeter antenna, we also have a Meshtastic node. Let's see if we can get a better look at that thing. And there it is, more 915 megahertz. The radios were deployed to cover high traffic areas of the venue. The relay was here, one homebrew node was behind security, and one was out near the tailgate areas. Our campsite was out here, and with all the other campers and portable nodes joining the mesh, we had great coverage and strong performance all weekend. These were the settings we ran. It was interesting to hear the difference in experience with the folks who started on long fast and switched to short fast while on site. Word was the difference was night and day. I'm often asked, well, what do you do with Meshtastic? Here's a sampling of how it was used at Hamcation. Some folks just tested their configs, some coordinated activities. The Falcon 9 launch was popular on Saturday. A little discord recruiting took place. Mesh performance was popular, feedback was solicited, eyeball QSOs scheduled, and food events announced. Basically, anything that could be communicated was communicated via the mesh. Tom Graham presented Meshtastic as an off-grid comm solution. And for the first time, we had vendors selling Meshtastic flash devices at a major ham fest. Spec 5 had a very busy booth. Dave, KB5 UTY, was representing Seed Studio as an attendee, and he brought along a lot of Seed Studio goodies for everyone to get their hands on. And the comms depot had mesh related devices for sale at their booth. It's great to see ham radio and mesh networking coming together. So, what is the face of Meshtastic today? Check out all these folks who brought their mesh radios to Hamcation. Thanks to you all for sharing your radios and, hey, I'm sorry if I missed you this time, but make sure you stop me in Dayton for your Hamvention photo op. All right, folks, there you have it. You know, each time we deploy Meshtastic at one of these large ham fests, we learn a little something along the way and we improve the experience for all the users. 
Again, great job to the Hamcation crew, and I hope we can do something similar for Hamvention. Thanks for watching, and until next time, 7-3. Thank you.